What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Elias, I'm a photographer located in Athens, Greece and in this video I'm going to show you what's my favorite way of showcasing my work to other potential clients. So obviously by now I think everyone knows that the best way to showcase your work is through a professional website but owning a professional website and running it through months and months can be really costly and especially for a beginner that is really hard to do. So personally my favorite way of showcasing my work to a potential client is through a small portable photo book like this one over here. In this video, I'm not going to compare owning a professional website um, against owning a small photo book because I think everyone knows that a professional website has way more benefits to it. And at the end of the day, everyone should own a website like that. But I think everyone is capable of creating a small photo book like that. It's a really small investment and it's only a one-time investment as well. And even if you don't own or own a professional website, I think a small portable photo book like that can really complement your work as well. So how you can actually benefit from owning a small portable photo book like that and how I personally benefit from that. Basically, when you're out on the street and you're meeting new people, when you're out on a restaurant or on a coffee shop or something like that, and you meet a potential owner or a potential manager, or anyways, a new potential client, instead of pulling out your phone and showcasing your work through your Instagram or through your website on a small screen, you can simply hand them over your photo book, which always fits in your photo bag, and then they can peacefully go through your work admire it and that way you make a really positive first glance to the other person and basically you differ yourself from all the other photographers that email them or simply hand them a card without showcasing any of their work. There are two main ways which you can build a photo book like that. Basically you can choose to include your personal work in here, maybe your street photography if you are a street photographer or your landscape photography or your wildlife photography or a mix of all of these things or you can simply put your professional niche over here let's say you're a wedding photographer then you can simply put inside this small portable photo book your favorite images and when you're outside and meet a happy couple you can quickly showcase your work through that and possibly create a few more clients in my case i decided to use pictures of my personal work, some of my favorite images like a few landscape shots, a few street shots, a few travel shots here and there. So every person that goes through my book can see the potential that I have. But again, if you want to target specific niche clients, then I think that you have to personalize your photo book with photographs of just a single niche. Again, let's use an example and say that maybe you want to work with some coffee shops. All you have to do is create a small photo book like that, put in there your best portfolio images of other coffee shops. And that way, when you have your photo book on your hand, you can visit all the coffee shops in your area or even outside of your area. And while drinking your coffee, you can quickly hand them over your portfolio like that and they can go through that and maybe they like it and you grab yourself a few more clients. I can't emphasize enough how amazing it is that I can simply put my own portfolio inside every photo bag that I own because it is really small and it doesn't get in the way at all. And that's why I think this small bad boy over here can be really beneficial to every photographer out there. Beginner or professional, it doesn't matter. I think this book can really benefit the way you present yourself to potential clients out there. Personally, I created this small photo book from ZNO Print Labs. If you don't know yet, ZNO is a company which creates professional and high quality prints and photo books like this one for all the photographers out there and you can go on my link down below create a new account on the website and use the code km50 to get 50 percent off from all the prints and all the photo books for your first order and that way you can start showcasing your work to other potential clients on the best way possible and also save some money in the process so let's quickly go through my photo book over here and see what i have created if you want to replicate my work there's going to be a link down there and again create an account and use the code km50 to get 50 percent off if you want to get the exact same thing like me or any other photo book so i use this hard cover over here so it's going to be tougher and hold through the test of the time and while i'm opening it up on the first page over here i have some landscape shots from the sunset these are from the same location and i think they complement each other really well in the next page we get a little bit more moody and we have a wildlife shot on the right and a landscape shot on the left in the next page over here you can see one of my favorite wallpaper images it's one of my most aesthetically pleasing shots on the book right now the next image over here complements the color palette of the previous image and that's why it's on that page and in the next page we're kind of switching it up again it's a street shot it's a really unique shot it's a really artistic shot which i got again from london it's a black and white image 
which also complements the next street shot which I got from London again. On the next page we are transitioning softly to some colors but again we can see one of my favorite street shots which I got again in London from a couple walking in front of a neon sign. Like I said you can see that we have a few red colors over here on the neon sign on the background which complements beautifully the next image over here which again is a nighttime shot from London which showcases a really cinematic scenery from a person on the right watching down the alley with some beautiful colors and beautiful lights on the other side of the road. In the next page, as you can see, I have a few more street shots. They have the same color palette, which complements again both pages of the book, but also it's a nice transition from the previous photograph from the previous page. And since the last photograph contained a silhouette in the middle of the road, I can easily transition to these two photographs over here. These are some of my favorite shots during the snow here in Athens. And since we're talking about snow, you can see that on the next page I have captured this beautiful white BMW on the middle of the snowstorm with some soft bouquet of some snow falling in front of the lens. And from that we are transitioning to the streets of London again to a more bluish color palette. And on the last two pages I have two of my favorite wildlife photographs. I placed them on the last page not because these are my least favorite images but basically I have placed them on the last page because I didn't include any more greeny images in the book so sadly they had to be on the last page which is a bummer but again it is what it is. So I think that I covered everything that includes the usability of this small photo book over here. Again if you want to create something like this check out the links down below and if you want to check more videos printing related then you can watch the video that I created last week. Basically I captured my best landscape shot ever and I printed it in a really large fashion but anyways this is where I'm going to end the video thank you so much for spending some of your valuable time by watching my content this really means the world to me this is where I'm going to leave you see you next time take care peace